Hello there, how are you? This is going to be one of those no cuts, Jake talks to his camera things, but I just need to talk to someone. Also, I don't know if this is weird, can you see there's me behind me? That's actually really cool, this whole wall, hopefully we can see it, is just amazing things that people have sent me. Um, it's really cool. I don't know, it's just it's just weird. I Two things, one, I think it's kind of weird that people like send stuff that is related to me or Michael or Kevin, but also it's just so cool that people are so talented. Like, that thing is made of, let's just look at it. These are hundreds of individual pieces that have been put together in iron. That's incredible. And then there's like this over here. Look how happy I am. This wonderful one where it's just words and things that I've said that make up my face. There's Michael Stevens. Uh, we accidentally got this uh, family's holiday card. There I am on Jurassic Park ride. This is really cool. Uh, a gentleman made that, which is really fun. Then this envelope just has a bunch of like Vsauce 3 themed things. There's a sloth. There's Michael, Kevin, and I. It's really cool. I kind of look a lot like David Tennant, which I'm a big fan of. There's a sloth that went to space. He didn't actually go to space. He was too slow. He couldn't reach escape velocity. But you get the picture. Um, oh, there's a little koala holding an Australian flag. Uh, it's lovely. Anyway, so I'm in New York. That's what I wanted to say. I'm in New York. I don't live here anymore, but I'm back here. I had a meeting, and it's been two weeks, and it feels like I'm sad, to be honest. LA, I think, is very exciting, and I think a lot of things are going to happen there, and it's good that I live there. But I miss New York, and it's only been two weeks, but it's that kind of thing where if you break up with someone and then you see them immediately after breaking up, you're still in this movement, like this fluid motion of understanding how that relationship works, and it doesn't feel like anything's changed. This is the first time I've ever had to stay in a hotel in New York, and that's weird because it doesn't feel like I should have to. I just should live here, right? I even walked by my old apartment, and it was just weird to see. And all my friends are still here, and they're the same. That hasn't changed. But I've changed. And that's a hard thing to kind of grasp. So I'm a little sad. I, I really... I miss it here. Again, I haven't had a lot of time, and I need to give myself time. That's how these things work. But it's, it's a difficult transition, I think. I'm a little bit sad. And just walking around and seeing things and smelling things and hearing things has been lovely. The rumble of the subway as you wait for it, and you can just feel the air being pushed... And it's so exciting, you know, I like that. Sliding in a turnstile, your metro card didn't work the first time. But anyway, that's kind of how I'm feeling the inside, like this little, this emptiness, like my intestines have been taken out and I just have a Ziploc bag full of air inside of me. Just this empty vacuum is there. But it'll go away. It'll be filled with uh, boba and burritos and tacos and fun, so that's okay. The other thing I wanted to talk about, and I meant to last time and I forgot, Oscar's Hotel. If you haven't watched it, you should. Generally, I would show you a photo of what I looked like in it, but I was a demon horse. You can see an image of it on my Instagram, at Jake Rar, if you don't follow me on Instagram. Uh, and you should go to Vimeo, look up Oscar's Hotel. It's really cool. I was really happy to be a part of it. I got to be a Jim Henson creature, for goodness sakes. That's amazing. It was so cool, and everyone was so amazing, and PJ is so talented, and everyone involved was so amazing. And also, here's the thing, even I would just, and I know $10, it costs $10, and that, that's a lot, but it's important because it shows the people that could give us YouTube creators money that they should keep giving us money, that we actually have audiences that will pay for something that has a higher budget or a higher value. And I think that's important because without it, these companies will just stop letting us do these weird, crazy ideas. And... I want to be able to make weird things, and PJ wants to be able to make weird things, and everyone wants to make weird things, and we're in a lucky position where we have the opportunities to. So anyway, side note. Um, other thing is, what else was there that I wanted to talk about? Oh, the Jack Black video, because I talked about that last time. I'm going to switch hands. Um, this is kind of weird. Now my hand, you can't see, but my hand kind of, it looks like an ostrich. We don't want that. Nobody wants ostrich hands. Not I. Jack Black video finally came out. Um, if you have seen it, I hope you liked it. If you haven't seen it, there'll be a link in the description. I'm really proud of it. We pulled it together extremely quickly. I wrote the script, finished the script the day that we actually filmed it, and I think it turned out okay. Also, I was supposed to get a haircut today, but I missed the appointment because I'm a bad person. Ugh. So check that out, and there's a behind the scenes, which is really interesting too, for the Jack Black video that kind of goes through my process a little bit. Um, I feel like I'm moving like I have to pee, but I don't. There's nothing inside of me anymore. I'm just a husk. <sighs> but I'm not. I still have flesh and goop. It's my squeedly spooch. Anyway, 
Yeah, there's that. And then there was a really lovely article that the Daily Dot did with me that happened while I was waiting to see if the Jack Blatty, the Blatt, Jack Blatt, Jack Black video would happen. So that's really interesting. I think, again, I'm biased because it's about me. I'm a narcissist. Ooh. But anyway, yes. Let's do a quick tour of the New York Vsauce office that used to be where I worked, and now nobody really works here. There's some things, awards or whatever. Those are cool, I guess. Uh, there's Mario, and there's me. Oh, this one I love. I love, love, love this. Look, 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 look. Okay, so we have uh, a mashup of Bravest Warriors with Metroid. How cool is that? How cool is that? Pretty darn tootin' cool. And there's my body. Oop, don't look at that. That's a surprise. Uh, there we have a dinosaur wearing a crown and holding a Kool-Aid spoon. And this is really cool. Kool-Aid sent me this after my video. I didn't even, I thought that they would sue me, but instead of suing me, they sent me this really cool Kool-Aid first aid kit. And inside of it was this pouch of Kool-Aid blood. Oh yeah, positive. My favorite part though is, uh, caution, not, not for non-Kool-Aid man consumption. Don't actually drink this, obviously. We included packets you can drink. Free calls responsibly. How cool. Uh, anyway. Um, anyway, yeah. I just kind of wanted to talk, ramble, as usual, but I just, I don't know. I just kind of felt sad, and I wanted to share my sadness, because it helps diffuse it, right? It's like osmosis. It just kind of goes through. Anyway. Yes. I'm going to go. I have to write. I'm going to go write. But thanks for spending some time with me. Uh, I love you. But, yeah, I mean, I hope that's not weird. Anyway, it's not goodbye. Oh no, it's never goodbye. It's... I forgot that I can't cut. Eh.